Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel where we huddle. I'm going to talk about huddle a little bit later. We are going to talk about Bitcoin blockchain in life today. I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip. I have some travel advice. Yes, answering one of the questions of one of the followers. Of course, also talking about the news. And yes, an inspirational part too close the video at the end guys a little bit later than normally because today i finally took a little bit of rest after a very hectic weekend of television shows podcasts and meetups in amsterdam the netherlands back in spain again in this beautiful garden guys now let's jump into the charts to show you exactly why bitcoin just bounced back to 72k and what will be next bam first chart for today guys is this four hour chart on Bybit Bitcoin. Look how beautiful we held that support over there of that Fibonacci retracement level 0.618. I told you if that is support we will bounce up and we are bouncing up. We are now around 71,600. Guys, look to the left. If you look to the left, you can see this level was a resistance level as well. It's not a Fibonacci level, but it was a resistance level. So it's not bad that we will take a little bit of time to break this level again, because over here, it took also a lot of time that we tried to break it and we did it. Now, retesting that same level. If we break it, yes, we will see a new all time high very soon. I still believe 77K is the target, guys. If we zoom out, we look at our amazing chart, my amazing chart that I already uh, made for you years ago. And on this chart, I told you at that time already, look, every time from the halving to the top, here it took 17 months. The halving is this red line. Over here, the halving to the top, it took 17 months. And yes, of course, you are also seeing at the chart that here this first stop was in April, 2021. The halving was over here in May 2020. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 months later, we saw a top already. Then we had that crash to 30K and then the highest top, the all-time high, was created here 17 to 18 months after that halving. But there was already a massive, huge new all-time high around 11 months after the halving. That halving is now just happening this month. So it will at least take 11 months, somewhere till, what is it, March, somewhere in 2025, I think that's 11 months, before we see the first top or the ultimate top, but it can also take 17 to 18 months, September 2025, before we create a top, or if we look back into history, the top will only be there around December, because mostly the tops will be in December. 2021, the ultimate autumn high, November. 2017, December. So maybe it will take longer. I will come back to this very shortly, but first I want to show you some more amazing charts. This is the first one. This is short term, guys. Short term, we can see this wick of pattern that we see over here. This chart was published by Capriole Charles, if you can see in the top over here. And this wick of pattern is happening a little bit in Bitcoin. And that's what we see here, this one, this one, if you compare to those two. Of course, we see this over here, we can see over this over here, we can see the test, we can this, and the SOS phase is over here now. We are in that SOS phase. We are gonna break out to a massive bull market, even if you compare it to the wake of pattern, also telling us, yes, bull market soon. Simplified chart is this one. We will go up, we will go sideways. It's a weekly chart, every candle is seven days. We will go up, we will go sideways. And yes, after that, we will go up again. And it can take a long time, that sideways movement. It can take a couple of months, just like it took two months over there, just like it took two months over there, or three months almost. But we will go up again because we are still in the midst of the bull market. And if you look at this chart, we can see completely why you should be full invested in Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin price. This light blue line is a Bitcoin price four years prior to that current Bitcoin price. So for example, over here in January 2021, we were on 58,000. Four years before that, we were at 1,000. And yes, it was like the beginning of 2017. We were still around the $1,000 level. So over here, for example, on the 1st of uh, January in 2024, we were at 25K. Four years before that, 2020, we were at 9K. Now, we are somewhere around 70K. Four years ago, 
we were around 6.6k guys. That is how simple it is. Every time we will go higher and higher than the previous four years. If you look at the rolling four year return on investment, 5,200% over there, or for example, 160% or 950% compared to the rolling CAGR, it's still all very bullish. We are now around a CAGR of 80% per year. That is amazing. Even 950% if you calculate shorter terms, like the four year return on investment. It is always a good moment to invest in Bitcoin because we will create higher tops every four year cycle. We will create higher lows every four year cycle. We will be creating a return on investment that other assets can't make. And to show you the difference between Bitcoin and all the other assets you could be investing in, I will show you this chart. This is the quarterly returns, just quarter one in 2024. Bitcoin did 67%. Just check all these other assets. See, even gold over there, guys, for all the gold bucks, 6.5%. The Nasdaq over here, 9.3%. You can compare Bitcoin to all of them. Bitcoin will outperform all of that. And all those rich people are mostly here in the bonds and the treasuries. And they can now see, wow, we are only making one to 3%. While we could be buying through a spot ETF at a very trustable broker like BlackRock or ARK investment and we could have been making 67%. That's 67 times more than we are making at the moment. That is why all the people start to buy that Bitcoin spot ETF. Because they can see the difference. Even gold. We are doing 10 times better than gold just in the first quarter of 2024. It is very simple to understand. Bitcoin is the gold of the 21st century. Bitcoin is the best performing asset of the last decades. Bitcoin is king, not only in crypto. Bitcoin is king when it comes to any kind of investment. Bitcoin is king. Yes, and it's getting warmer and warmer, so I can pull out my hoodie later and wear a t-shirt, of course. One of my new Bitcoin t-shirts, you will see that one tomorrow's video. I hope you really enjoyed these charts, guys. These charts are telling you every time exactly the same. I told you a couple of charts and videos ago, watch out, 66k, why would you wait to find 60k or 58k or whatever level that you were waiting to buy Bitcoin? Because before you know it, we will bounce back above 70k. And that is exactly what happened exactly what happened. We bounced back to 72k and there is a lot of bullish news that could even lead to higher prices for Bitcoin than we have ever seen before. So that means an all-time high. Did you see that very simplified chart? We are going sideways, stairway to heaven, sideways, stairway to heaven, sideways, stairway to the moon. That is what we are doing. So you should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, buying as much as possible, hodling as long as possible, till the indicators tell us the bull market top is near. And that is when we start to sell, not any moment before that. So now let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, has to do with my hoodie, HODL. HODL comes from 2013 when somebody made a typo, he typed HODL instead of HOLD. HODL was then used in the crypto space because of HOLD ON FOR DEAR LIFE. And that's exactly what you should be doing with Bitcoin. I know that a lot of people see Bitcoin still as an asset to trade, to multiply your euros or any other shitcoin fiat currency, but Bitcoin should be your core capital. That's why you should be holding it for dear life, holding it for dear life. So the trading tip for today is HODL. You need to be hodling Bitcoin as your core capital, not as an asset that you want to use to multiply your dollars or your euros, because that value will go up into smoke because of inflation. Bitcoins deflationary, each halving, we will go higher. Every four year cycle, a higher high and a higher bear market bottom. Every four years, a higher high 
at a higher bear market bottom. In between volatile, but if you don't use all your capital, just like you have your savings account at your bank and everything, the capital that you don't use, why would you keep it in euros or dollars if you know you will be able to buy less and less and less groceries for those euros and dollars? That is why you huddle Bitcoin as your core capital, as your saving account, because you will be able to buy more and more and more groceries. So the trading tip for the day is huddle. It was a typo, it was hold in 2013, it became huddle in 2013, and now it's huddle for dear life in 2024 still guys that was the training tip for today let's jump into the travel tip the bitcoin travel tip for today is when you visit certain areas always look for a bitcoin atm or use your bitcoin debit cards when you cannot do peer-to-peer -peer bitcoin transactions so what do i mean normally when i go to for example a town here torre vieja in spain soon i will search for the stores that accept direct bitcoin payments to the lightning network i will visit those stores i will do my groceries at those stores i will do all the buying of clothes whatever is possible to buy at those stores i will do that with peer-to-peer -peer bitcoin transactions because i want to support bitcoin also as a peer-to-peer -peer cash if I can't use Bitcoin as a peer-to-peer -peer cash, I will search for an OTC dealer, so somebody that will exchange Bitcoins for cash by having a cup of coffee, or a Bitcoin ATM, where you go to the ATM, you scan your Bitcoin wallet and you get cash out of the ATM, or you buy Bitcoins with cash, so that's a Bitcoin ATM, or if those options are all not available, I of course will use my Bitcoin debit cards. So I can stay as long as possible in Bitcoin. I will huddle my Bitcoins. And when I pay in a supermarket, for example, in Spain with my Bitcoin debit card, that is the moment a little bit of my Bitcoin will be exchanged into euros. But my core capital will still be Bitcoin. I hold them. So those options I use to pay. Peer-to-peer -peer cash, number one. Number two. OTC dealers, so exchanging Bitcoins for cash through an ATM or through a meetup. Number three, use your Bitcoin debit card. So these are the options for me. Uh, that was the travel tip for today. When you're traveling, search for ATMs, search for OTC dealers, or use your Bitcoin debit cards. Never convert Bitcoin back to your bank account and then use it with your bank account because you should be unbanked. Be your own bank. answering one of the questions of the followers and the question was Didi when do you see the bull market up do you see it in the end of 2024 or do you see it on the end of 2025 now to be very honest I think that the bull market top will be in 2025 Normally, the bull market top is around 17, 18 months after the halving. The halving will be in 15 days on the 20th of April, or 12 days even. Or I'm forgetting all the days because of all the traveling. But like the halving will take place on the 20th of April. 18 months after that month, normally we see a top. If that top is not in September, it could also be in December 2025. So I think that the bull market top will be in that year. A lot of other people think that the bull market top will be in 2024 because we are already creating an autumn high before for the halving so this time could be different now for all of those that think that and for all of those that think what i think 2025 we all should focus on the indicators as simple as that i don't have a crystal ball i can't predict the future i can only analyze charts and well and when the indicators on these charts are going to tell me hey didi the top is near that is when i will share with you out there on youtube that's why you need to subscribe now that i am going to exit a huge part of my capital into stable coins not into euros not into shit coins not fiat currency which are the shit coins just into stable coins in this industry but that's a couple of indicators that you need to keep an eye on I will make a short reel about that and I'll educate you a little bit more on which indicators, but for example, the Pi Cycle Top, the RSI, the MVRV Z score are three indicators that will tell me, hey, the top is near, exit the market. And that is when I will exit. Not because I think in 2025, not because you think in 2024, I will listen to the charts. The charts never lie. A lot of people are asking me, Didi, why did now the Bitcoin price again bounce from 66K all the way to 72K? Now, of course, one is the charts were telling us that the bounce was going to be there because I told you in the video two days ago, hey guys, uh, watch out. We can see that the RSI is bottoming out and is turning around positive again. So the price will follow. Uh, the second thing is all the bullish news. We all read that BlackRock now announced that they are going to make it possible for the biggest US banks to use the spot ETF as well. So because of that, 
a shitload of more liquidity of the whole banking system in the United States now will give their clients the same access to Bitcoins uh, through a spot ETFs like BlackRock already did. So there's more possibilities of liquidity to enter the market. So the demand will grow, the supply stills the same or even going down because of the halving and that will lead to a supply shock. Again, I've been repeating this many times, more demand, less supply, supply shock, the price will increase. Whenever that bullish news comes out that now all the banks in the United States, probably also in Europe, because I also saw the ABN AMRO, ABN AMRO Bank, on that list of BlackRock that will now give their clients access to the spot ETFs. So this means they become an official partner of the spot ETF of BlackRock, which means the ABN AMRO clients will be able to buy their Bitcoins in a very simple way as well. And they feel very safe and secure by tr buying through their bank system, their custodial banks. I would never recommend to do that. I would always buy my Bitcoins like peer-to-peer -peer or uh, keep them on a hardware wallet. But for all those people that still trust the banking system, uh, they will now start to buy Bitcoin with that spot ETF guys. And that is why the price is pumping up because of all the bullish news, the full banking system now backing BlackRock and the Bitcoin spot ETF. This will lead to higher prices than you can even imagine at the moment. Which brings me to the last part of the video, the inspirational part, guys. Uh, I will keep it a little bit short today because I really want to enjoy the first day here at my parents-in-law, of course. But the inspirational part of today, guys, is don't worry about failure because you only need to get it right once. And that is, I think, a very important lesson. A lot of people that I meet on a daily basis, also online, are always like, but what if I fail? Maybe I will fail. If I go all into Bitcoin, what if I fail? If I invest in this token, what if I fail? Always thinking about failure. What if I change life and I fail? It's always thinking about failure. Failure is not bad. Failure will teach you a lot of life lessons. You need to try stuff to understand if you are good at it or bad at it. And sometimes you will fail and sometimes you will succeed but you need to make sure that you focus on those times that you succeed, not on the failures. They are just part of the trip. The goal, the success, that is the end goal. And yes, you will have some failures while building up to that end goal. You only need to be right once. I had some failures in my business career. I did some jobs. I did some companies. I opened some strange business. I did import from China. I did all kinds of stuff in my life. They were not all as successful as now my Bitcoin journey, but they were all needed for me to understand how the true economics in this world worked. And because I had a lot of failures from when I was young, all the way up to when I was 30, I was able to understand why I need to invest in Bitcoin and even go all in. And only that one was a very, very, very big success and probably is going to be a bigger, bigger, bigger success in the future. But only once you need to be right. So the life lessons for today is don't be afraid to fail. Failure is not bad. It's just part of life. There is only one moment that you need to have success and that moment will lead to a complete new life guys so that was everything for today i hope you really liked this video if you did like the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about all the tips what do you think about the life lessons i wish you an amazing monday an amazing week hopefully see you tomorrow again early in the morning because i want you to be able to drink a cup of coffee when you're watching this video thanks for watching amazing day see you tomorrow again bam